Ms. Smith, you and your father, Mr. Wooten, are suing to prove Ms. Backus is not his biological daughter. You say your dad owes more than $92,000 in back child support for a child who isn't his and is on the verge of losing everything because his income is being garnished by 50% each month to pay off that debt. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Backus, you say yeah. that Mr. Wooten is your father, and when the results prove you right, you demand Ms. Smith and the rest of your father's family apologize for treating you so poorly. Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Smith, how do you think Ms. Backus has ruined your father's life? Primarily through the actions of her mother by um, being very deceitful with my father from the very beginning of their relationship. They initially did not start... Uh, garnishing his wages. It wasn't until later when he was um, started drawing Social Security that they began to garnish half of his wages. So um, up until the point that they started garnishing his wages, it was going into arrears, drawing interest, and now is over $92,606.06. If that's the case then he should have showed up when I showed up and when they took blood from me just to have the test. He should have showed up for the test and we wouldn't be here today. Ms. Backus is saying they drew blood? Yes, ma'am. I was a young girl when my mama finally decided to have child support papers on him. She made me go to the doctors. First of all, I remember being young and scared and I started crying for my daddy. He made me sit in his chair, and there were about five, six doctors that held me down and blew drugs for me. And all I remember is I kept screaming for my father. And I ain't never stopped loving my father, and I ain't never stopped loving my sister, even if they don't claim me. But they gonna learn today. They gonna learn today. Your Honor, my father never received any paperwork requesting his presence to have a DNA test done. He was not requested to come to court to prove that he was not her father. My father knows he... Things. I'm his child. And it's guess when I was that. conceived? I was conceived when a year later after him and my mother was together. And they was together for seven years. So you tell me. They were not together no. for seven years. See, and let me explain what happened. When yes, I met, Mr. Wood. I met her mother, I think about two months after we met, uh, been together, she said she was pregnant. Four months after we were together, we broke up. Well, because... Daddy, you and Mama got two different stories, and I'm coming to find out the truth. Because Miss right, Daniels is a liar. So, Mr. Wooten, you're saying the relationship was four months long? Yeah, and when beginning. she was four, when she was four months pregnant with her, we broke up. I realized that most of the things that she was only interested in was me helping her financially. And if one of the first things she asked me one month after I, we, we was together. Uh, was to help her pay a car note. When Ms. Backus's mom said, I'm pregnant, did you think it was your child? Uh, I didn't question it that it wasn't at the time. So when did you start doubting that? When she had... My mama said I was a player child. she became child. pregnant again years uh, <laughs> later, and she wanted to get back together. When I got back together with her, I just, I'd asked her, has she been seeing anybody else before we got together? And she said no. We got together three weeks after we was together. Then she Father, no she disrespect pregnant. and not to interrupt you, but my mother told me y'all sat on the couch and she told me that you had said that you wanted another child. Yep. That's what was told to me. But you're telling me something different, so that's why we're here today, to get some order. Your mother, when I, when I met your mother three weeks into knowing her, she wanted to know why She I told me y'all was together a whole year and then I was Alundra, born a year later. Alundra, please. Man, daddy, I can't, I can't, I can't, I'm not even feeling nothing that y'all saying right now. That's why I brought y'all here and we we finna find out the truth. Cause you and Cece will apologize to not, me and my mother today. I do not today. owe you an apology. You're not gonna yeah, you are. You gonna find, you gonna see one. No, you gonna see no, one. Watch. Will not. You gonna pick your Mr. face Wooten, up today. No, I won't. Mr. Wood, when you found out... When Ms. I found out that she told me, accused me of being the father of the second child... Yes. And I told her that was impossible. And because we'd only been gotten back together... Because my mom... Backers, wait, weeks. is Miss Backus the second child? No, she's That's the first, first one. Right. So the first one... You felt like you were or were not the father. Miss Backus, you said, I am the father or I'm not? I didn't really say anything. I just went along with what was going you on. You went along with it? Yeah. So, Miss Smith, did you grow up knowing that there was a possibility you had yes, a sister? Yes, Your Honor. I did grow up knowing that a child uh, was born at the end of their relationship. As we were growing up, myself and my two brothers 
We did not discuss Miss Backus because we did not Girl, know make, I, both our brothers one over way that or another whether she actually was my father's child because Miss Backus' mother um, has a long history with our family of being extremely de deceitful, lying constantly. My mom can be messy at times because she is real dramatic, tired. but I know she know who okay, she is. Okay, Miss Backus, with. I'm tired of the rumors. Her kids. Found me on Facebook a couple of years ago. Found me on Facebook, was praising me. I'm glad, ooh, we found out, oh, you the lost child. Oh, oh you know, and Miss Backer sent me a Facebook request and I accepted it because no, I what? did know her. And then after I accepted the friend request, then she would post up pictures online. Uh, don't me and my sister look just alike. No, we do not. We don't look alike. Let me see that evidence. Thank you. This is a Facebook post. Yes. That's a picture at my granny's funeral. And it says, gotta love your siblings, laugh out loud, I keep my father and brother on point, and I am my sister's keeper. My yes. grandmother made peace <clears throat> with me before she passed away. She told me about the rumors. She told me that she do not like my mother at all. Not only did my granny say that, that is I started not to get up at the funeral and tell them no. what my granny said, but I said that's not the proper time. My grandmother... This is the proper time, because my granny you loved brought, me. No. And she said, I am a wound. She said, I walk like a wound. I look like a wound. I talk like a wound, and I ain't standing because I know I'm a wound. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. I am holding up a birth certificate. True enough, my mama was wrong for handwriting it in because he was not there when I was born. He came later. She wrote it in because she know who her baby daddy is. That's one thing well, my mama do know. Well, let me see this evidence. Hmm. This is your birth certificate? That was my birth certificate. But when I filed for my new one, it, it, it came up blank on his name. That means she wrote it in. Yeah, my mama probably, you know, look crazy for making a crazy move, but she know who her father is. How many lives? So it is your contention that because your mother was so certain who she, your father she wrote was, it in. she wrote, wrote it in. his name in. She wrote it in. My mother told me he okay. was not there when I was born. He came later on after in the hospital. Do you have evidence as well, Mr. Wooten? Well, I just have the original the copy. No, May I see that? He never denied me. And this is the original copy where the name of the father has been left blank. But, Your Honor, in this so, picture, it don't seem like that he denied me. And in this picture, where my sister holding me next to my mother, didn't seem like they denied me. Will you hand those up, please? Please explain to me, what is this a picture that of? That is my mother. That's me in the middle, and that's Cece on the end. That's why I can't never stop loving her. And I, she, she making me mad right now, but I still got love, because I am my sister's keeper for life. Yana, as a young child, I did take that picture, and my, I am smiling on that picture. I did not uh, know whether or not that she was my sister or not at the time. And so, Miss Smith, to as you mother. listen to Miss Bacchus's testimony, mm -hmm. she was included in your lives at some point as a yes. part of your family. Yes, she was, Your Honor. Do however. you remember as a child the moment when all of a sudden it was determined that she would be excluded instead of included? Ooh, 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 ooh. We your can't Honor, talk about that. The reason, ooh, we can't talk the about reason that. is because she was not the only child that came through my family that ended up being excluded because they were not family. They were treated as family while they were there. Her you wanna children, sweep me underneath the rug so bad, but you're not gonna do it, baby. I'm still her. You, you let me get old now and I can talk up for myself. And I'm tired of you lying on that. One at a time. I am talking. I don't care. My, when when I ask her about you, I'm supposed to care about you now? Girl, my, please, I'm getting ordered today. That's why I brought one, you here. One at a time. One yes, at a time. Okay. Yes, it's order, CC, because you out of line. Miss Backus is lying because my grandmother despised her mother. Yes, yeah, she, she hated my mother. Not, she hated my she mother. She didn't like but her she either. Loved she me. looks just you alike. Are she did Daddy, not. Daddy, did no, I she get did you not. and my grandmama no, back she together? No, she did not. Did I get she you and my grandmama back talking? No. Hold on. No, so, Mr. No, Wooten, you know that's a lie. That. I, I know she felt like she had a part of that. Why that came about is my mother was was dying, and I, you know, would not deny her. You know, in other words. 
my mother for years kept saying, you know she's not your daughter. That's right. And up to that point, when I told my mother, I said, yes, she is, you know. And uh, she, that's when my mother decided to apologize to her. If so I'm not you told daughter, your mother so that she your is your daughter. I stopped trying to stop the drama. Here, you have to understand They this. only doing because this because it's what? all about the money. It's all my about the money. Is it's all about the money. No. Okay. Okay. If the oh, money the wasn't money. involved, they wouldn't be saying this, but it's cool, because you've been hurting me for 34 years. I'm not taking that. I have not. Ms. Backus. Last Please time I explain checked. to the court what this is a picture of. Okay, that's a picture of my mother and father when they was together. My mother held on to that chair for over 20 some odd years. She didn't get rid of it till about, maybe about eight years ago. You hear me? Ms. Why Davis would my mother hold on to something like that? A woman ain't gonna hold on to that something like that unless that she special. know. So she gotten it from another family member. That chair was not that special. During the time that her mother was, was with my father, when my father left for work, because Gail, she did not work, when she was at our home, she would have men come to our house. You 12 years old, you need to say, okay, what you not gonna do? Let's calm down, lady, let's calm down. What you not gonna do? She would tell me that that was either her cousin or one of my dad's friends. I did not know any difference. I did you not You can go even jump off a bridge with that statement. I swear, like I yesterday. I was raised to have respect for adults. We did not stand in the room when adults were talking. When they were talking, we left the room. So I did not stay in the room when she was talking with them. But when my father came home, there was no mention of these men in and out of the home. Girl, it was if that's later because you would have said that in your country town, would have been talking about that for a long, long time. It was time. later in life oh, when hindsight, looking back <sighs> on the situation, that I even brought it up to my father. Oh. Miss Backus was so young, she did not know everything that was going on. And so those experiences, seeing the different men... Time after time, different circumstances... You that are were, lying. That were Why are you lying us, on my mama? Of that, how bro. much more like, of a liar that Miss Daniels was. And, 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 no, and that is the today. basis of your doubt, all right? That was the basis of my all right. doubt. Okay, like no. Read. Hold on, Miss Backus. You gonna have to let me talk in this courtroom. I'm sorry, Judge. Okay. <laughs> all I want is for the financial ruin over the back child support over $90,000. I want that to stop. If she is not his child, I want this finished and done with because he was is about why to lose I his home. Your help, Ms. He had, when I need when my father needed fin um, medical care, I was the one there taking him back and took forth to his doctor's appointments. I was the one that was there at the hospital with him. But you're not the only when daughter. He had surgery. But you're not the only daughter. I was the one that you set are, up but his you're medication. Not the Let her finish, Miss Bass. I was the one there taking care of his wounds. I was the one that is still there. Helping him they take care of I his bills that he could not afford. So if she felt so strongly that this was her father, where were you? I'm gonna tell you where I was. I'm gonna tell you where I was. I'm gonna tell you where I was. Now look back at me. I'm no, gonna tell you where I was. My no, mama was protecting me. And me and you okay. both know why. Yeah. Protecting you from your own father? No, protecting me protecting from, your, you? from your rumors. From all wow. your rumors. Okay. Protecting me. That's why I got you here today. I yeah. caught not y'all. And then you sitting up here not claiming me. I really ain't got no time for you. Because at the end of the day, I got a man that came in my life at 10 years old that brought me to my daddy. My stepdaddy brought me to him. You hear me? They sat at the same table. You hear me? So at the end of the day, my daddy, my stepdaddy had to take me to my father because I was treating him like crap. He wanted to know what is the pain that this young lady is going through. So my stepdaddy loved me so much, he brought me down here so I could be with my father. And we have some type of relationship. I talk to him now. I talk to him on a daily basis. But now you want to come on and act like I'm him? You don't know? All right. You don't know? My challenge and my skills and my face and my structure and me standing here by myself with nobody behind my side. Even when her own daughter wanted to come stand by my side today, it's gonna show and prove that he is my father. All right, ladies, gentlemen, I think I've heard enough and I'm ready for the results. I am too. <laughs> Jerome, would you please go and yes. stand between the families? We wanna make sure this is um, handled respectfully. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Wooten Jr. versus Bacchus, when it comes to 34-year-old Alondria Bacchus, Mr. Wooten Jr., you, in the case of Wooten Jr. 
versus Bacchus when it comes to 34-year-old Alondria Bacchus. Mr. Wooten Jr., you are not her father. I know this was not the answer you were expecting. No, it wasn't, but I and had to I... do it. I had to do it yes, because I was did. tired of the rumors. I was tired of being treated. So now I know why I got treated like I am, and I'm good. I want to I wanna apologize to the Wooten Pryor Clayton family for my mom's BS. CC, I came here with the confidence of knowing he was my father and knowing you was my sister. So now that I know the truth, I know. I'm sorry. Mama, you got to pay that back. She'll always be the daughter to me. It doesn't matter. Mr. Wooten, as it relates to the back child support, this is a situation you will have to take up in your home state. There is no guarantee under the law that that debt will be canceled out. Mm -hmm. Well, if he needs my help, I'm gonna help him. Cause my mama know I stand for the truth. That's all I ever wanted. Ms. Gregory, you say just two weeks ago, the defendant called off your engagement due to paternity doubts surrounding your son, Carson. Yes, Your Honor. You have petitioned the court for a DNA test to prove Mr. Elston is the father and hope the results will save your family. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Elston, you and your sister state you are certain you are not her child's father and say her ex is Carson's biological father. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Gregory, how important is it to save your family today? It's very important for me to save my family because I feel that my kids, both of them, my unborn child and Carson, deserves their father. And I feel that we were we got engaged in May. He broke up with me two weeks ago because of paternity issues. So I feel that we need to get this all cleared up. And so you broke off the engagement, Mr. Elston, because of this entire paternity saga? Yes, Your Honor. It was, you know, people calling me and texting me, telling me that you know, she's cheating or either somebody's in the driveway. I work out of town and I'm like, I do stuff like I send people over there to check on her just to make sure she's not doing nothing. And you know, multiple people told me that they caught her ex in the driveway, caught his car there. Your and... Honor, I'm actually the one who caught her ex in the driveway. My brother was out of town. He's a hardworking man. He works to take care of Carson, Carly, and the unborn child. And he, ca he called me, he told me to go to the house and check on Carly and Carson. And I did, when I rode by there, her ex's truck was there. So I called my brother and I told him, was your ex's truck there, Miss Gregory? No, Your Honor. My ex lives like four states so away. So, what truck was it? I live in apartments. I'm not exactly sure what truck she's talking about. Really? You're not sure? Are you sure that you're not sure? I'm not sure. <laughs> I want to learn more about how you met. Tell the court how this relationship started. Me and Mr. Elston met through my ex at a basketball game. I was dating. <sighs> Through your ex? I was dating my ex, and he was cheating on me at the time, so I felt comfort in Mr. Elston. He had a girlfriend also. We started sleeping together two weeks after we met, and then I got pregnant, like, almost a month later. And so you got pregnant, and at that time, were you and Mr. Elston boyfriend and girlfriend, or were you still just cheating on he... your exes? <laughs> Your Honor, he still had a girlfriend. I didn't find out I was pregnant until June. I got pregnant in March. He thought I was lying about being pregnant. He thought just so he could... He would have to break up with his girlfriend of the time. And well, I had already broken up with my boyfriend. Well, Your Honor, I heard rumors about her before, you know, we started talking. Your Honor, she... he's just now bringing up the rumors, though. Your well, Honor... What, well, I mean, the rumors are one thing, but the fact that you knew she had a boyfriend, that, that alone... <laughs> ...indicates she was potentially intimate with somebody else. You sleeping with her while she had a boyfriend. And you had a girlfriend. <laughs> so that brought four people to this party already. Yeah. So, Miss Gregory, take me back to the day you found out you were pregnant. 
It was in June. I had went to the health department to get on birth control. They said you were already pregnant, but I did not know how far along I was. So I had to go to my OBGYN. They told me I was three months along. He went with me to my first appointment because he did not believe me because, you know, he had a girlfriend. He thought I was just trying to break them up. And then after that, he had nothing to do with me the whole pregnancy. So once he came to the doctor, found out you were pregnant, you never saw him again? No, we text like two weeks after that, and that's about it. And so, when you had Carson, was Mr. Elston at the hospital? He came to the hospital the second day. I had to have an emergency C-section, so so I was in the hospital for five days. He came the second and begged for me to give Carson his last name when we was not talking the whole pregnancy. I told him, you can sign the birth certificate, but you cannot give my son your last name right now. No, Your Honor, I went to the hospital. You know, I walked in the hospital all happy, you know, because I was expecting to be my first child. Like, I walked in all happy and... Like, I get in the hospital room, I go get the baby from her, like, we sit down, take a picture, and I looked at him Your exact closely. words was, he's too white. And I... Your That's Honor, exactly what he said. The baby didn't look like me. He don't have my nose, my ears, my eyes, or nothing. Your and Honor. I just got up and gave her the baby, and I walked out. Your Honor... Really? <laughs> my brother... Your Honor, my brother has two other children, and... That he from, does not take care of. From the beginning... I when take both of, of children, his baby you know. mothers had the baby, from the beginning, they both came out looking just like my brother. Okay, but this child has a different mother, so potentially the child would look differently. But the baby don't look like me. I mean... And, Your you Honor, he brought... I t- he brought a girl pacifier. My son... It's a son. I have a son. He brought a girl pacifier, and I would not accept it because I'm not fixing to give my baby a girl pacifier with Care Bears on it. And he got mad because of that. Okay. (laughs) Y'all about one step from Care Bears yourself. Right. And that's the problem. (laughs) So, at some point, you decide to get back together because you got engaged. Right. How did that happen? Three weeks after I had Carson, he started coming around more. So, we ended up getting into a relationship. We got engaged, and we was doing good. And then I got pregnant in June... So, I'm pregnant now, and he just doubts this baby, and more doubts are coming up from Carson. People are telling him things about this baby is not his. He's asking me for an unborn DNA test and stuff because he doesn't trust me. Well, Your well, Honor, if she didn't post things on Facebook that made my brother feel otherwise, it wouldn't be any doubt. Things like what? She's actually posted a picture with another dude around the time she was supposed to be pregnant by my brother. And Your Honor... Actually you have the picture. submitted that photo to the court? Yes. Oh, so this is the picture. Who is that, Carly? Ain't that, That's my ain't ex. That's your ex. I got pregnant in March. That photo was taken in April. We were still together, but we broke up. Me and him had sex, no sexual relationships in March. Well, Your Honor, when I was out of town working, I was on top of the tower, and my phone had vibrated, and I looked at it, and her friend that was over at the house, she texted me and said, "Have you talked to Carly today?" And I said, "No, why?" And she was like, "Well, she's in there laid up with another guy, and I'm in the living room." You submitted that text exchange to the court. Yes, ma'am. The friend says, have you talked to Carly today? You say, no, why? The friend says, she has some guy over here with her in the living room. You text back, are they hugged up or anything? And she texts back, yes. (laughs) Was this the ex that she saw you hugged up with? Yes, Your Honor. So, you admit you were hugged up with your ex then? Yes, in April of 2016, not in March. And she posted a picture on her ex's birthday in March. And, you know, everybody has sex on somebody's birthday, so I'm not going <laughs> to... <laughs> no, she Your can't Honor, say everybody that and sleep not, together. Everybody no. does not have sex on your... We did not so have sex. So, what y'all do on the... We was with y'all his family. Patty Kate. We was with his family on his birthday out to eat, and it, you can tell in the photos. And so, Mr. Elston, you submitted that piece of evidence to the court as well. Yes, ma'am. There's a post in March 2016. Carly B. A picture that says, birthday dinner with you and your family. I love you. Right around the time she with a heart. she was right. pregnant. And this is a picture of you with your ex. I was in a relationship at the time, Your Honor. With your ex. Right. But Me and I him was just sleeping just around. in a relationship. Me and him was sleeping around that time. Me and him... I was in a relationship with me and him But first you weren't me. having sex with your ex, though. That's no, I was not saying. having sex with my ex. Are, are you sure? We used the condom. The one time we did have sex in February. Are you saying that you 
had no sex with your boyfriend in the entire month of March. Correct, Your Honor. I did not have any sex with him. So, all of a sudden, after February, you just weren't sleeping with him anymore, no. but you just happened to go out to dinner with him and his whole family yes, and Your Honor. put a post up about it and say, I love you with a heart. Yes, Your Honor. And I'm sure... You realize you every time you lie, then your fingers go like this? <laughs> no. Just wanted to let you know. Okay. So, I'll ask again. In March... Mm-hmm. Are you saying you were not sexually active with your then-boyfriend, whose birthday was in that month? Yes, we did not have sex that month, Your Honor. <laughs> you holding them fingers tight, aren't you? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. But, okay, so you submitted a calendar to the court. It says you went to the doctor in June and found out you were three months pregnant. All right. Count back, and it says the month of conception would be March. You say you were intimate only with Mr. Elston at that time. Yes, Your Honor. Which is why you are certain he is Carson's biological father. You also admit that you had sex with your ex who was then your boyfriend in February. And is he the only person you had sex with in February? No, Your Honor. Oh, yes, Your Honor. Um, she forgot Well, who else did you have sex with? My friend's boyfriend. (laughs) Your Honor, actually, it was on more than one occasion. One of the times they had a threesome. How did you have sex with your friend's boyfriend? It was on Valentine's Day. We had a threesome. She knew about it. So you had a threesome on Valentine's Day. (laughs) I don't know what to even put. Just a three, Jerome? I'd say a a three (laughs) circle. Well, you don't put a heart, Uh because it clearly ain't love. (laughs) So, on February 14th, you had a threesome with your friend's boyfriend and then you were also sexually active with your ex. Yes, Your Honor. So, let's just move on. Carson's almost two years old. Mm Mm-hmm. And this court cares about the fact that in the very near future, he is either going to say the words, Dada, or he's already saying it. He's already saying it. To Mr. Elston. He's a very good father to Carson. They love each other very much. And so, Mr. Elston, you've built a very real bond with Carson. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. And do you feel like, when you're with him, do you feel like that's your son? I do. And, you know, I... I just want the, you know, truth today to determine whether he's really mine or not. Well, she's pregnant now, and she says there's also a paternity question related to this baby. Yes, Yes, Your Honor. So, it's not as if this is ending today. Mm. Yeah. Ms. Gregory, what are your hopes today? Um, I hope that he can get the results that we came here for, and he can step up like he's been doing, being a good dad to our son, and then for this baby also, because both of them deserve both of their parents together, not separate. And what are your hopes, Mr. Elson? I mean, I'm down that he's not mine. But do you hope that he is? I'm you hoping that he is him. because I have that bond. <laughs> it's... It's hurting me that I gotta... go through this today. I can see that makes you emotional. You all are very young people dealing with some very adult issues. Both of you standing there with tears in your eyes. I think it's time we get the results. Thank you. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. (laughs) 
in the case of Gregory versus Elston. When it comes to 20-month-old Carson Gregory, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Elston, you are not the father. I'm sorry, Mr. Mm. Elston, you are not Carson's biological father. Yeah, man. Put myself in a situation where I thought I could trust her and, you know, I deserve better. And it's, I'm not gonna give up on him if that's what she thinks, so. So, Ms. Gregory, I know this is not the news you wanted either. And I've been tough on you today because I knew you weren't telling the whole truth. Is his father the ex or is it from the threesome? I'm not sure. Look at me. That was honest. I know you are not proud of yourself, but in this moment, I'm proud that you finally just had the courage to tell the truth.